Let's figure out how to create parallel lines using vectors. So what you can do is you can start at any point that you get to, and I'll say that I got to this point by doing vector u. So I got to this point right here. But then if I add vector m, I get to this other point. And I want to create a line out of this. And the way to do that with vectors is that you say, let me take any scalar multiple of this vector m. So that means you can stretch it by whatever you want. So maybe I'll stretch it out to something like 2m or whatever. And I'll end up getting to this point. Now, if I stretch it out to 3m, I'll get to that, or whatever, 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 whatever. I can get any of these. I just have to use any scalar multiple. In fact, over here, it looks like I've used something like a half, um, so like a really small. And that'll give me half m. But regardless, I'll be able to get any of these points. In fact, if I multiply by any negative number, I'll be able to get the points back here as well. So I'll be able to create a line, which I'm going to call line 1. Now, how could I do that if I started at any other point? Let's say I got to the point um, that vector v brings me to. Then, if I do a very similar thing, I'll be able to get any of the points that I would get by just scaling m. And that would create this line right here, which would be parallel, because it's moving in the same direction as the other line because the only thing we're changing is we're adding scalar multiples of m. So they're going in the same direction. Um, and all we had to do was just scale m to do it. So how would you write an equation for that? You would write, I'm starting with vector u, and I'm adding any scalar multiple of m, where we'll call that scalar multiple t1. And uh, for line 2, you start with v, and then you add any scalar multiple of, again, m. So it has to be the same m. <coughs> this also works in three dimensions. So what would be our m in this particular problem? It would be the 2, 1, 8. <coughs> so automatically, we know that we're going to create line 2. We know what the m is going to look like. We know it's going to look like 2, 1, negative 8. Um, and they want us to use uh, t in front of it, or we could use whatever, it just has to be in that form. But let's use a t. And then they want us to make sure that it passes through point b. So that means we could start by going to point b, which are the coordinates negative 8, negative 5, 25. And then we add our m a certain amount of times, and uh, whatever amount of times, because we're allowed to use any scalar multiple that we want. So that's really all we have to do um, for part A.